So, so you convert. And then in 2004, that's when uh, you moved to Israel. Is that right? Right. First, I mean, I was looking to get married and I always encourage if you convert to Judaism, go to Israel to find a wife. Okay. Because the, the playing field is leveled. First of all, if you're looking for a wife as a convert in America, they're going to toss you divorcees and whatever, less desirable women. I mean, these women, all women need loving to some extent. Now, why should you feel like a second class citizen? So in Israel, we have the luxury of not having to meet their parents when, when we get engaged. And in the yeshiva system, you typically date for one or two weeks and then you get engaged. And uh, so I went to learning yeshiva and to God willing, find a wife. And that's what, that's how it panned out. So I went and, but I went without a plan. The problem with coming from a Christian background is that you don't know how to assert yourself. Mm. You're lacking what's called chutzpah. If you don't have chutzpah in the Jewish world, you're not going to get anywhere. And they expect you to have it. Not, not just in the Jewish community in America, but specifically in Israel. Uh, I mean, you walk into a store, there's no price tag on anything. They look at you, they hear your accent, and then they quote you a price. They want you to fight back, and that's how they respect you. It's a weird culture. I mean, coming from America, family's from Columbia, but I was born in America. I'm, I'm all American. And I would rely on religious people being benevolent. I mean, as a Christian, you, you have the ushers standing at the door, giving you a hug, right. leading you to your seat. I've never been told that I'm sitting in someone else's seat in a church. That's never happened to me. It's happened to me countless times in a synagogue. Okay, whatever. Uh, I take the good with the bad here. So then um, in terms of asserting yourself in the Jewish world, while I was converting, no one invited me over for Shabbat. You know, you have to know to ask. You have mm -hmm. to not be shy and ask people, do you have room in your Shabbos table? Right. Mm -hmm. And um, so they don't really know what to do with us. So it's not so easy to find a school to learn in. Thank God it worked out for me. Um, but again, I had to be assertive. I had to learn how to talk. No one's going to give you anything for free in Judaism, at least as it exists today. I mean, I'm trying to change that. And I don't know how much one person can do, but one person can do a lot. Uh, so I encourage everyone out there to be assertive. Um, don't take no for any. I mean, if I wasn't a Jew, it would sound anti-Semitic. Okay. But you have to have a little chutzpah. You have to be in your face. I mean, anyone who's seen Seinfeld or Curb Your Enthusiasm understands what I mean. <laughs> right. um, and they don't respect you if you're not like this. That, I mean, actually, it's a sign of a higher IQ. It's a sign of, of greater intelligence. People who are naturally disagreeable. Now, you don't have to be naturally disagreeable. That could be attained. 